that we love to read we collect a lot of books we collect a lot of art so we like to be around that uh, we watch a movie by rule every day you know so it's either a movie or a few shows on netflix nowadays or you know something like that hi i'm zubin zainuddin hi i'm krupa zubin and we are in candid conversation with indiaartanddesign.com We wind up at six here. Yeah. So six o'clock, we wind up six seven here in the balcony, watching the sunset, having tea. I mean, that's a standard. So we're very boring in that form. We never go out. No, it's a real. I mean, yeah. So it's literally like once in a year you'd watch a movie in a theater, but normally we just watch yeah, movies at home. Uh, we go for right. music concerts every time. Ar is Ar Rahman is in, you know, performing, or then we definitely go. Except for the Broadways yeah. in New York and in London. I mean, we've not seen a. Honestly, it's it's not it's not nice, but we've not really seen so many places. Travel a lot. We travel a lot. We like to travel to cities where there is constant change happening. So we're not the mountain guys. Uh, there's a, always a story behind every object in the house. We we met, we clicked. It just kind of happened, you know. She's been very helpful to kind of you know uh, help me guide guide me in the way I've done you know, decisions in the early part of my life and. It it just it just kind of went we just went to the place. how do we meet <laughs> we were from different colleges and so we met during an exam yeah and I remember her very well because uh, everybody in my college used to say that don't fall for her because you know she's she's got very strict parents also and for some reason I think that's what pushed me to kind of really fall for her. I had no uh-huh. other option okay film that always makes me cry I'm good. I think any anything sentimental makes me cry. Anything sentimental. I'm too human. My weirdest habit. Kripa, go get this from the kitchen. <laughs> An actor for whom I would ignore my husband. Too many to choose. An actress for whom I did ignore my wife. Too many to choose. <laughs> too many to choose from. <laughs> True. One thing I'm most likely to forget. She's forgetful for all basic things. Best gift that I've received from Krupa, probably my daughter, because that's all my work. So I have a beautiful relationship with the, with my daughter because it's again only three of us, and we've spent a lot of time together. She's officially my fashion consultant. And I do explore brands, and I do have a lot of stuff that I love the designs of. I love the quality. I mean, I love my shoes. Like these shoes are designed by an architect, so I love the kind of form that they have. So you know, I have like five of those, which I really like. I have a very, very few like interesting pieces that I pick up from museums. You know, recently I picked up a lot of 3D printed jewelry. For the last. few months i've decided to wear the same thing every day to office so i wear the same t-shirt uh, i mean i have five pairs of the same t-shirt you know the same one but um, it it just it's it's so it feels so good not to be deciding these things in the morning but like he said you know what he likes about that whole constancy is because there's so much new that you're doing at work you like that your wardrobe is constant for him I don't have a constant wardrobe. I'm always evolving. But I have to spend a lot of time also to answer her questions about how she is looking for the day. So you know, so I think it's better that I kind of make my routine simple. We're not. Yeah. We're not as anti-social as we <laughs> seem to be. We sleep very early. You know, as, as a uh, as a practice, and we get up very early. We're very very happy doing it. I think the house for us is. Where we can actually get more insp- get more inspired, and then probably go back to work with more energy. You know, that's how we see it. No, I think we're living a dream in terms of we never imagined being here also. You know, when we started our practice, so we're just enjoying the ride. Personally, I just feel that if you get somebody that you know that you know that you want to spend the rest of your life with, somebody that you really want to share, and if it's somebody who is also doing the same work that you do, also shares shares the same desk with you, and you know, I think you can't ask for anything more. The younger generation. should just work enjoy what you're doing go into a field that you feel very passionate about don't follow trends just just be yourself and don't look at instant gratification it'll all come it'll come with time it'll come with its own pace just enjoy it